Hey guys, okay so this is part two of things I'm liking in March, but you could probably say February and March because I don't think, I think it's been a while since I've done another video, um, the last video anyway. <laughs> so this is part two anyway because I've had to change the battery and um, clear my memory card <laughs> on my camera. Okay so these are the last few things that I've been loving this month or two. Um, so the main thing I'm going to start with is this one. Um, so what I'll do is move the other side away so I can concentrate on this. Okay so this is simple um, and it's simple's kind to lips intensive lip moisturiser with vitamin goodness for naturally healthy lips. Now this has been a godsend to me because my lips have been so dry and so cracked and um, you'd think it was winter again <laughs> but this has been amazing for keeping them really moisturised and stopping the cracks and just really making them, my lips a lot better than they were. Now this I got um, from the Simple website um, it was a sample they sent me because I'm registered on the Simple website. Um, so guys, if you go to Simple um, and Simple's website, you should be able to register and every so often they send you emails asking if you, um, you to go on and you can order your samples of things. So this one is really cool. Um, and I, I'm not sure if it's out in the shops yet, but when mine's is done, I'm going to check and get some more of this because it's been really amazing. It's been such a godsend in this weather. <laughs> it's been really, really good and I'm glad to have it. Um, but I would imagine you'd be able to get it in your local chemist um, where you can buy other simple products. I believe you should be able to buy um, this. So again, this is the Kind to Lips Intensive Lip Moisturiser from Simple. And it's really worth getting it if you need to, um, to take a bit more care of your lips if they're in um, a terrible state or condition. This will look, it really will work for you. It's worked for me. Really good. This is probably my number one favourite product. Okay, the next one I'm going to show you is, well, more to the point, it's four, is the Alice in Wonderland nail collection from OPI, which I am absolutely loving at the moment. Um, so there's four colours and I got the little mini ones um, on ASOS online, which is asos.co.uk I think. I don't know if they've got a .com. But, um, so I got the little mini ones because I wanted to try them out before I bought the bigger bottles. Um, so I'll tell you the colours. This one is Mad as a Hatter, I think. Um, yeah, so this one's like the lighting in here is really bad um, in the colour that's not really picking up on the camera. But this is a silver tone but multicoloured um, sparkly nail polish and it looks absolutely amazing. Really, really pretty. It's got, a sil as I said, silvery tone but it has multicolours of loads of colours of glitter in there. And the glitter, the glitter you see glistening of the glitter you see really does come across in the nail polish itself. It's really 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 pretty, really glittery. The only problem is with this, it's really hard to get off when you're trying to take it off but that happens to most glitter um, nail polishes. So that's Mad as a Hair. It's very pretty. This one is one of my favourite ones. It's um, a blue. It's it's more of a turquoisey blue colour. It's really hard to pick up in this light. I'm trying to show you the colour, but this camera's not very good. Um, my other camera I need to get fixed. But that glitter is amazing. And this one's called Absolutely Alice, inspired by Alice's dress, I believe. Um, it's gorgeous on. And these are really good as well, because they are really glittery and with one coat it's quite 
a sheer cover but with two coats it's amazing it looks beautiful it's really really pretty next one is this one which is I think this one's this one is thanks so muchness and it's just a kind of pearlescent um, deep red colour it's really pretty on um, it has kind of undertones of pink in it as well and it's really lovely and I I love red nail polish and this one's really really cool and it's also I think it's got a kind of undertone of glitter in there really shimmery it's beautiful on so if you've not got these nail polishes it's worth getting them to try this one is the one I've actually got on just now and I actually think I thought at first the glittery ones would be my favourite because I love the glitter ones but actually I suit um, red nail polish and this one really does go with a lot of the stuff that I wear this one's called Off With Her Red inspired by the Queen in Alice in Wonderland and it's so pretty it's a, actually a kind of brick red colour that standard red colour it's absolutely gorgeous really pretty one and it looks amazing so that's the f that's the four colours so you've got um, the first one Madge's Hat Hatter Absolutely Alice Thanks So Muchness and Off With Her Red these are all amazing so worth trying these out the last thing I wanted to show you was this which <laughs> I'm sad enough to buy is the Luna Twilight um, just bitten lip staining balm. Now this is Twilight inspired and I've become a big, big Twilight fan um, since reading the books actually. The books I think are amazing. I love the packaging in this, the dark packaging and if, if you can see there's like the tree it's really embossed, embossed um, with the gold writing and the colour I've got is blush. It's so pretty. I'll show you. Now, I love the packaging even of the lipstick itself, not just the box, but again it's got that, I'm trying to show you in the light, it's got that kind of tree um, embossed onto the front of the lipstick. It's a hard case with the golden with the golden writing on it. It's a Luna Twilight. And as I said it's a lip staining balm in the colour blush and because it's a lip balm it's really moisturising on the lip. It's absolutely amazing. The beautiful red colour. Um, absolutely gorgeous. I was going to say I'll try and do a swatch on the back of my hand to show you. I don't want to waste this too much because it did cost quite a bit. It was um, about £15 but as I say I think that's about the average for a really good lip gloss. It's a really sheer gorgeous colour. Um, I like to put it over some red lipstick um, as a kind of top coat. It looks gorgeous, shiny, but the balm, it really does, it's good for it keeps your lips really soft and really moisturised. It's been, again, battling the cold and the chapped lips. It's been wonderful. Um, so yeah, this one is really cool and I got this one from ASOS online as well. I absolutely adore it and it was just the price was a bit a lot for um, a lipstick but as I said it's kind of an average for a, a kind of high line um, lipstick nowadays. So basically that is all the stuff I wanted to show you for um, my um, things I'm loving. So that was part two and I hope to speak to you soon and I'll see you. Bye!